you know, normal houses like what we have here, you know, the distance marker for the field next to you, I'm just inside that distance marker on the low house side. Now, when I come here, I've got some turn in my hips, so when I relax, the gun automatically goes. But if you'll notice, my free range is right in here. And that's where I want to break these targets. The low house, bam, the high house, bam. It's all right in this, in this 15 to 20 foot area here. But I, with this foot position, I have got enough turn that I can come all the way back to the out of bounds marker. If I'm shooting it at the out of bounds marker, it better be something wrong with the target. It's something's done happened that has caused me to carry it this far. And if I got to carry it past that out of bounds marker, it's supposed to be lost anyway. Even though most of the time the referees will not take it away from you. So when I turn this far, you know, I want to, it's pretty well lining me back up with my hole point. But, just so everyone knows, you want to get used to your body mechanics or your feel of your motion in these turns. When you get used to those things, then you can start adjusting your foot position and move your break point around some. You can also move your hold point in or out a little bit, but hold points are more about reaction time. Where you hold, where you look, how soon you see the target, and how you move with the flight of the target. That's what hold points is about, more than changing your break point, in my opinion. Foot positions change your break point. Your hold point can have an effect if you're off on it too much you know most people think okay I want to break the target quicker I'm gonna move my whole point in well that's exactly backwards if you want to break it quicker you move your whole point out the problem is you got to get used to that uh, whole point and you're gonna make you're gonna to have to wait on the target longer and you're gonna to have to make a quicker move in other words this gonna be BAM BAM instead of bam, bam. And so keep that in mind as well. I'm Alan McCannon. I hope everyone got a little something out of this. Good day.